When I hear kind of like these trinkets of experiences that are being expressed through these these songs, but all of this stuff is like a lot of new revelation to me, which I didn't realize until recently actually doing these videos. All right, guys, our fellow Gen Z Brits gonna be checking out Nina Simone for the very first time ever. This is to her song Mississippi God Damn. Now I'm really excited to check this one out. I've I've been going deep into this rabbit hole of checking out some you know musicians from all the way back from the 1930s to 1950s in that realm. People like you know the Nicholas uh, Brothers, Cab Calloway. You got uh, Billie Holiday, Ella Fitzgerald. Uh, the list goes on. Who who am I gonna put in there? Just now Nina Simone, right? Um, so it's gonna be really interesting to see what she's all about. Um, of course, if you guys love how I'm going back in time to check out these greats and just, just the culture, the history, just the general, just what life was like. If you guys want to see all that more, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss none of these uploads. I've got a lot more of that stuff coming your way. And don't forget to like these videos and let me know what other videos you want me to check out. On my Patreon, I'm doing some exclusive bonus content as well as early release access to a lot of these videos. So if you're interested in some of that stuff, I also did a full album. <coughs> And of course, if you guys want to know you can support me in, uh, in extra ways, then ways you can do so will be linked into my description. Things like my PayPal, where you can donate to the channel, as to my Patreon, where I release a lot of videos that I can't post on YouTube. I recently did a full album reaction of Prince's Purple Rain um, album. So if you guys want to get a Gen Z perspective who has not heard of Prince like that, then check out the Patreon. I also introduced my sister who heard Prince for the first time to that. Um, and I've got so much more coming uh, on the Patreon. So you're going to want to make sure you get on in while you still can, while it's still hot. Um, and yeah, guys, look, with that being said, let's get straight and see this video. Let's go. Mississippi Goddamn is our last tune. We had some requests for it. the piano. Alabama's got me so upset. Tennessee made me lose my rest. And everybody knows about Mississippi gone down. Oh. Alabama's got me so upset. Tennessee made me lose my rest. Everybody knows about Mississippi gone down. <laughs> It's a fact that that's already sound like a chorus. And from what I'm aware, I don't know when this, this came out, if this was like, like 1950s, 60s, in that realm. But you obviously, obviously I'm, I'm aware, like I've done some videos on like the Jim Crow laws and stuff like that. And a little bit of the, the, the history of what was going on during that time with segregation laws, the Northern and Southern states are divide there. Southern states being more, you know, pro slavery and all that stuff. Um, so I'm assuming, I don't know exactly where those states are, like Mississippi, Alabama are in the, on the, in the, in the U S but I'm assuming they're southern states. And if they are, then it makes sense. Um, you guys let me know if I'm right or wrong, but the fact that she's talking about it, I mean, it says that she's a race, racial, uh, a civil rights activist. So this is going to be really interesting. Like I can see the, the angle she's going to be coming on here, which is interesting. Everybody knows about Mississippi God yeah. damn. Can't you see it? I know you can feel it. It's all in the air. I can't stand the pressure much longer. Somebody say a prayer. Alabama's got me so upset, and Governor Wallace has made me lose my rest. Everybody knows about Mississippi. God damn. This is serious. School children sitting in jail. Black cat crossed my path. I think every day is gonna be my last. Mm. No, these are some, these are some deep lyrics, man. This like this is some. It's in my times, man. Gonna be my last. <laughs> Lord have mercy on the land of mine. We all gonna get it in due time. I don't belong here, I don't belong there I've even stopped believing in prayer Don't tell me, I'll tell you Me and my people just about do I've been there, so I know They keep on saying, go slow 
that's just the trouble. Too slow. Washing the windows. Too slow. Picking the cotton. Too slow. We're just plain rotten. Too slow. We're too damn lazy. Too slow. I think it's crazy. Too slow. Where am I going? What am I doing? I don't know. I don't know. Just try to do my very best. It's even like to get a window of insight and see, like even the lyrics that people would be writing about during this time, very you know um, conscious of what's going on in the time, and how that seeped into a lot of the music, you know, um, especially like like she said she went down to Mississippi, goddamn and stuff. So I'm, I don't know because it, it reminds me of um, this video I did uh, reacting to Billie Holiday where she had strained the song "Strange Fruit." And she was talking about her time when she went down into these southern states and she saw the trees with things hanging with people hanging on them was type thing you know i'm trying to be careful on youtube when i hear kind of like these stories kind of these trickle these trickles the trinkets of experiences that are being expressed through these these songs like i don't even think even puts it into perspective as to how, like how deep it got but all of this stuff is like a lot of new revelations to me which i didn't realize until recently actually doing these videos <laughs> Picket lines, school boycotts. They try to say it's a communist plot. All I want is equality for my sister, my brother, my people, and me. You lied to me all these years. You told me to wash and clean my ears and talk real fine, just like a lady. And you'd stop calling me Sister Sadie. Full of lies, we are all gonna die and die like flies. I don't trust nobody anymore. They keep on saying, Go slow. That's just the trouble. Desegregation, mass participation, unification. deep one uh i didn't like that's the thing i don't know if like nina simone is she i mean it says she, like from a little google search i did that she is a, she was a civil rights activist so i don't know how much of that seeped into her music whether that was the majority of her songs whether she used music as a medium to kind of um make a change or to communicate frustrations and injustices and all this all these things i'll be very curious to kind of find out a little bit more context if you guys got some nuggets you want to drop fill me in on and again great voice i can see the the, the, the piano this is she can sing do you know what i mean um i'll be i'll be very interested to, to find out more guys of course he made this point coming on a blue heart so i know who my ones are he made this point he just click off the video soon as the video ended i love you guys be watching through to the end i've got a place of all these kind of reactions that i've done kind of going back into the pop sorry going back into the past checking these things out so if you guys are curious about that stuff i'm going to see more so checking out playlist at the end of the video. And of course, guys, like as always, I've been J Flex. This has been Nina Simone, and my first time checking her out. For those of you guys who made this point, you guys have been absolutely wonderful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.